So the new season has finally arrived, guys, which introduces alien invasions, you know, alien weapons, and some new POIs around the map. Not to mention using alien spaceships as movement and gigantic flying ship to really hover around the map. But your question on me, where you at your motivation, guys? That's right, I'm back. In today's video, we're going to be going through some of the tips on how to win more games in the newest season of Fortnite, the alien season. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. The first thing that you need to do when you get on the game is, of course, to have fun and really try out all the new guns and items added to the game. All right, guys, so to win more games and really become more skilled in the overall season seven, you know, you're going to have to be on top of the new game mechanics, which are constantly being added. And so if you're a pretty skilled player in season six, great. But you don't want to be sticking to your roots and really just using the regular old weapons you've always been using just because you're just more comfortable with them. So if you want to improve, guys, and win more games, you need to step outside of your comfort zones and keep trying out all the new weapons until you're good and just really comfortable with them. You know, so tons of new items weapons have been added to the game such as the pulse rifle which is a pretty dynamic fire rate and so when hip firing the gun will give you more fire rate than if you were just aiming down sights its purple variant hits for 35 damage and packs a punch however because of the low fire rate we wouldn't recommend this gun to be used as a spraying type of weapon like the regular ARs treat it more like you would with the infantry rifle so if you're precise and accurate medium to long range this gun might be for you you know, all of the new IO weapons are floor loot, and the rail gun especially stands out. The weapon works by charging up your gun, and then it beams out a laser doing tons of damage to your opponents. So if you learn to use this weapon right, whew, man, this can be used to win you a lot of fights and do insane amounts of damage to unsuspecting enemies. If you need to get better with the new weapons, make sure to head on over to ProGuys.com. We've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you guys the ins and outs of Fortnite by playing right alongside of you in your game so that they can give you the best tailored feedback back so you can really improve fast. You now have a lot more movement to travel across the map, including the return of launch pads and also, as mentioned before, alien UFO spaceships that can hold up to five players. These can be used to rotate to dead side zone, to transport different vehicles, and carry players across the map using the suction mechanic, or even just using it as a sky base to really wait and just farm placement points. Yes, really. So you can find these alien spacecrafts randomly spawning at different named POIs, and you can tell which ones by the color of the names of them on the map. If the color of retail row is purple, that means there are UFOs hovering above that part of the map. The same goes for all the other POIs with names. This has a dynamic to the game where one game, you know, you're landing at a POI and you know exactly what's going on. And in the next game, you might have aliens trying to take the whole area raining down alien bullets from the sky. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. So on the topic of POIs, there seems to be like a fatal fields and spire location called Corning Complex and is a pretty large POI with pretty good loot. However, there are just new alien AIs that are just roaming the building, shooting anybody on site. So keep an eye out for them for sure. All right, bunch of questions. Army, it's time for the question of the day. All right, so today we want to know what is your favorite new weapon in season seven? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll be sure to check them out. All right, guys, back to the video. So with the new season, Epic hasn't completely removed the ability to craft new weapons using parts you're going to find all across the map. However, they have instead adapted, you know, the crafting for the new season. Season, introducing the ability to create the well-known lever action shotgun, the rapid fire SMG, and the burst assault rifle. All right, this means, guys, you have more choices when it comes to close range shotgun selections and also means that you can play with different styles to really outplay your opponents and really catch them off guard. So if you like using the lever action, it may be used to quickly pop off some damage and with the added fire rate can be used to pressure your opponents even more than attack shotgun would. On top of that, you can also craft a rapid fire SMG from the regular submachine gun and a burst AR from the regular AR. All you need to craft these items is nuts and bolts, right? Which are simply found scattered across the map in chests and when breaking certain metal objects. So a few named locations have been added to the Fortnite island for all of us to explore. And if you want to be confident in all your fights, both early game and mid game, you should land at each of these new POIs at least like 20 times just to really get familiar with it. So try to memorize all the chest spawns, the best route to take, you know, for good loot, where to find players to fight and so on and so forth. In addition, tons of new smaller locations and drop spots have been placed around the islands for us to find. So if you find one smaller location and think it has pretty good loot, consider just making it your go-to drop spot for this season. Having a go-to spot to land will make you super comfortable with your surroundings and give you an edge on the surrounding area. It gives you the confidence to fight anybody off spawn since you're going to know exactly where to run, hide, and really just find weapons and more. Okay, so one smaller low-key location we recommend that you got to try out is the alien base of the East Weeping Woods. There's a turret here that, you know, you could use to beam enemies off spawn to get some easy loot. 
So one of the newest OP items that has been added is the Recon Scanner. This item lets you see enemies within a certain distance through the walls. It works by shooting a projectile bullet towards an enemy. The bullet projectile has a super large sphere surrounding it and if an enemy is inside of that sphere, it will tell you the exact location of the enemy by giving a red symbol above their body, which you can just see through the walls non-stop. This is insanely OP since the weapon has a super long distance that you can shoot towards and really be used to W key super quickly. The item never runs out of ammunition and it recharges itself over 10 seconds, allowing you to shoot two projectiles at once. Let me reiterate the fact that you can literally see enemies through walls, man. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> like, take advantage while you can because it's an extremely fun item to really use and it might be nerfed in the upcoming updates. Imagine this item early game allowing you to see everyone who's inside a building through the walls. Whew. All right, bunch of crunch on me. We got a recap, man, because it's time for you and I to win more games. All right, don't be afraid to try all the new weapons and step outside your comfort zone when selecting your loadouts. The best way to improve at the game is to put yourself in a situation where you have no experience so you can learn what the right move is in the future. Try out different shotguns to switch up your playstyle, all right? If you enjoy the lever action shotgun, it can be used to throw off your enemies if they're not used to fighting against the lever action. All right, so take advantage of the new movement to rotate to the dead side zone. Setting yourself up for an easy, easy victory, man. Definitely got to do that. And so with the return of launch pads and the new player controllable UFOs, this should be a great way to secure placements. Try out the new craftable weapons to adapt your loadouts for more power. The burst AR and rapid fire SMG could help you win some more of your fights. Get yourself familiar with all the new locations so you can just fight your early game enemies with confidence and ease. Do not sleep on the new recon scanner item, guys, and just really use it as much as you can before it possibly gets nerfed. Bunch of course army! It's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I'm just really excited, really, to see how this season pans out. And if you guys are excited about it, hey, share your thoughts below. And so with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation. Guy. You know, I'm the one that believes in you. I am your number one fan. Don't give up. Keep going. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.